Hey guys, another ride. Heading back to Ray's place. As you can see, it's kind of snowing actually. And uh, that should make for an interesting time. I know Ray's place got a little bit of snow last night, so we're gonna be rock crawling in the snow, um, or light snow. Regardless, the rocks will be wet, it'll be cold, the tires will be cold, it'll be slick. We got We got these new tires on the battle wagon. Look at those. We got a 32 by 10 by 15 Tusk Power Sports Mega Bike. Yeah, so these are the newest tires from Tusk, available through Rocky Mountain ATV MC.com on a Tusk beadlock wheel in gunmetal. These tires look like a hybrid between a few other popular tires. I'd say they're kind of like the equivalent of a love child between a GVC Dirt Commander and a XTR. And then if that offspring had a child with a carnivore. <laughs> That's kind of like the best thing I could say. They've got a decent bit of sidewall protection here. They've got these thick X's, like the, the thicker uh, rubber on the sidewall. They've got a decent sidewall lug and they've got some wide space, pretty beefy kind of lugs like they're they're pretty tall the lugs uh, they have more height than my 32 inch XTR 370 lug but the tire itself does measure a little bit on the smaller end the XTR 370s look like they're on steroids next to, next to these even though they're the same size a 32 by 10 by 15 these ones are a good inch narrower if not a bit more and also about at least an inch uh, less height on these Tusk tires um, I haven't measured them to see if they're true. Um, I think the XTRs measure a little large. So I think this tire is probably somewhere in the in-between, maybe kind of on the smaller border of, of a 32. And they're also a much more rounded tire. They're more ballooned. Even at nine PSI that I've got in the rear, they're a much rounder profile tire where the XTR is a lot more flat. The tread compound on these also feels a touch harder. I mean, it is cold out, but the XTRs do feel a little softer. The XTR 370 in the last few videos, you guys have heard, it's definitely been my favorite tire that I've ever run on the Razor. So we've set the bar pretty high. If this tire can compete with the XTR 370, then it's definitely got a beat on price point. And in hindsight, if I knew these measured a little bit small, they come in a size larger than the 32. They come in a 34 by 10 by 15. If I had to do it all over again, I'd order a 34. So, um, the 34 would probably be more like a 33-ish, I'd say. And uh, these are definitely lighter than an XTR, so we'll see how they perform. Uh, I can see some pros and cons on them. I might actually end up studying these for the winter, depending on how well they do today. So we'll see. Um, regardless, I love trying new tires. You guys love seeing new tires. Uh, Price-wise, this Tusk setup is a really good deal. Um, so if they perform really well, they could be a good choice for an all-around trail tire. So anyways, Battle wagon's loaded up. We got the rear sway bar disconnected, mostly because I broke some stuff last ride. But um, it's just zip tied out of the way there and linked zip tied to the mud flap. And here we got the sway bar zip tied out of the way and it is off. Whoa. So by this time, you would have seen the last video that I posted and you would have seen the machine perform without the rear sway bar and my reactions on how bouncy and slinky it is and how soft and comfortable the ride is and how much body roll there is. The body roll is insane. But we'll talk about that later in the video. Just wanted to give you a little bit of a, a walk around about what's changed about the machine. So mostly just the wheels and tires. So stay tuned guys. We're meeting up with the crew. Courtney, Fish. Fish is going to be out. Brand new Swift Track front diff from Super ATV. The, the, the fish tank is going to have true four wheel drive, a full lock front end now. So that's gonna be a game changer on the trails. I can't wait to see what kind of a difference that makes. Cordy will be out in the KRX. Uh, Chris will be out in the R Max. We got our buddy Jason out in the X3. Our buddy Sean is joining us today. If you watch the sloppy Sunday ride, then uh, you'll know Sean, um, that's his place. So he's bringing his X3 smart shocks out. Um, and I don't know who else is joining us. Tim's gonna be there in the Wildcat. The Wildcat's gotta be there to, to kind of set the bar 
and um, you know, insult us all with the, with the, I'm not gonna say cheap machine because Tim's put a lot of time and work into that machine, um, but it's underdog. It's always underdog and it always shines. So we're gonna get in the truck and we're gonna hit the road. We got about a three and a half hour drive or so. Hopefully the snow holds out. Hopefully the weather stays kind of this temperature and uh, we'll take it from there. So here's the battle wagon. We got that front windshield from Super ATV, the glass along with the rear windshield also. Uh, and that is a game changer in this type of riding um, with this type of weather. So yeah, anyways, we'll see you in a bit. Gonna go get some fuel, gonna head on the road. Say hi. Hi. Camera girl Ksenia's here. Yeah. Yeah. She's the one that I, you know, like, she's like, you know, my, just like my manual labor, according to all the video comments that I just force her to make these videos. She doesn't want to film. That's true. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you should pay me enough. Yeah. I can't talk about payment due to confidentiality reasons, <laughs> but, um, yeah, she's, you know, I'm just, I'm just totally taking advantage of her because she doesn't enjoy these trips at all. She hates it. She hates it. But you know, I'm just, I'm chauvinistic. I'm just a, I'm just a bad man and I just make her do what I want. So anyways, we're going to go get some gas and we're going to have a good time. Oh yeah. We made it. We're at Ray's place. I'm in an off-road park. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. So yeah, we made it. Uh, pretty good time. Weather is nice now. It's really cleaned itself up it's nice and sunny should be a good time and uh, we're just we're the first ones here we're waiting for the boys we upgraded our cottage we got a a sweet little round thing here we haven't stayed in this one yet so that should be a good time anyways we'll give you guys the grand tour in a bit gonna unload the uh the razor and we'll unload some of the gear get set up tim should be here somewhere and uh, we'll take it from there uh, I got a big announcement for you guys coming in a little bit. We'll talk about our newest channel sponsor. They're kind of a big deal. So stay tuned for that. Well, I'm really interested to see how these Tusk Megabytes do. Be interesting. It's going to be some sloppy conditions, so it's going to be a really good test. Should be similar to the, te the, the riding last weekend, so it'll be a good comparison to those in the XTR 370s. Let's check out this uh, presidential suite. Open. Oh, they, oh, fancy artwork on the walls. Yeah. Cool. This is awesome. I wonder if he just let me move in for good. <laughs> one room for the office. One room for business. How about my room business? Well, I my said room. one room is for business. One's for it's clean in here. But I need. They got a nice room. floor. Nice kitchenette, open concept. Lots of natural light. Actually, this this this, this place is cool. I actually was expecting I, I wasn't expecting it to be this nice. I live here. This washroom is pretty pretty decent. Oh yeah. That's not bad. That's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, so this is like the this is the yurt cottage it's it's essentially like a round building it's really cool um so there's two beds in here and two beds in here so he says that you can sleep like eight ish people and there's a couch but i mean you could easily sleep like i mean if it's a group of guys you got two here two here you got a couch so you easily got five six people sleeping in here and if you got couples, you can do a little bit better than that, depending on whether you want to get frisky at night or not. But I mean, hey, if you want to, I, I don't know what your relationship with your friends is like. I mean, there's a lot of swingers around. <laughs> but we got to keep this channel PG, guys, so we'll leave it there. I'll let your imaginations take care of the rest. Um, anyways, the reason we went with this place is because um, it gives us a nice little communal area to enjoy, like in the morning or after the ride. We can cook all our food. We got a nice big table. Scott says you can spread this table open and, and seat like eight people easy. So with that being said, um, it's gonna be really fun in the evening and when everyone gets here so we can all hang out here, have our morning coffee, plan our ride, and then come back and, and have dinner here and all that. So we're gonna go get unloaded and um, we're gonna go say hi to Scott, the owner here. And um, we're waiting for the rest of the guys to show up. It should be a really fun, cool ride. We got uh, the happy hippies coming out again. He's joining us, him and his wife. His wife's gonna rock her Razor High Lifter. He's gonna ride his Pro XP this time. He had a, he had a huge blast with us last time. 
And uh, if you guys don't know this about Happy Hippie, the guy is a car nut. He has such a sweet car collection, so many cool cars. I, um, I I checked him out online. I mean, he's got some really neat cars. He's just such a passionate, like, friendly dude, and like, he's such a gearhead. Uh, tons of cool motorsport stuff. Um, so maybe we'll bug him about some of that stuff. And he's just a character, you know. He loves being on camera. He's so good in the videos. So I think all of us are gonna mesh really well. We're heading to Green Mountain. It's gonna be a really good time. This video. It's gonna be today, which is Friday, tomorrow, which is Saturday, and the button up on Sunday. So I'm gonna see how this video flows together. We might do a marathon here. We might just do a marathon full of lifestyle, full of all the events as they unfold, full of the riding and everything, and see if I can maybe piece together a nice like two and a half hour lifestyle type video here, depending on how things go. Might break it down into a few parts as well. I know some of you guys really enjoy the longer format content, whereas some of you really kind of just like the nitty gritty, the action packed cuts and stuff like that. So in the next couple months, I'm gonna be slapping together some really cool action compilations, some of our best of stuff like that for the new year, so that we can kind of go through all the content and enjoy the biggest bangers, the biggest fails, stuff like that. Uh, big shout out to all our sponsors. I guess I'll let you know, um, Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Check out the hat, I've been wearing it for a while, kind of a little teaser. They've jumped on board. They're gonna be supporting the channel as a title sponsor. They'll also be providing me with what they call an affiliate link. It's not something I've done in the past, but essentially I'm gonna provide you guys with a link and they're gonna have their own landing page for me on their website. So if you buy anything from Rocky Mountain ATV MC, which I've been buying from them from years, way before I even started YouTube, they got good deals, very competitive pricing and a lot of products to choose from. Um, so if you, if you get anything from that website and you use my affiliate link, then I will get a small commission based off the stuff you buy. It will not affect your bottom line. It comes out of the profit margin of Rocky Mountain ATV MC, so you don't pay any more. I just get a little cut of that, and it helps support the channel. It's, you know, if I wanna keep growing the channel, um, I gotta look for some revenue streams to make it possible, road trips. I mean, I spent hundreds of dollars in fuel just getting to places, um, so, and the camera gear, updating that all the time. I mean, like this new GoPro 10, I need to get one or two more of these because the sevens are starting to get tired, the lenses are leaking, they're fogging up. So it's like, we're hard on equipment. So that's where all that um, revenue goes is back into the channel. So hopefully Rocky Mountain can help us generate a few more bucks every month to help make the content better, increase the production value even more. Um, with that being said, they have a lot of cool stuff and they're really gonna support us good. They said they, they've been watching the content for a while. They reached out to us and said they think we'd be a good fit. And um, what they wanna do is we're gonna start off with a bang. We're gonna give away a full set of Tusk wheels with um, Tusk Megabyte tires on them in, in any size you want, basically for any machine you want. And we're also gonna give away some other cool stuff um, hopefully we can get some other sponsors on board like Fintrail and Super ATV. I've never really done much of the giveaway thing, guys, but I really do wanna start giving back to you guys, the viewers. I know a lot of other channels have done it when they're smaller. I really wanted to hold off and wait until I had some good stuff to give away. That's not just like a sticker or something. So we're gonna take it off with a bang. We're gonna give a set of wheels and tires away. We're gonna give a winch away. And I'm gonna put together some swag bags, give away some stickers, some shirts, stuff like that. And I think Super ATV will be on board to give some goodies away, as will some of our other supporters like Fintrail and stuff like that. So stay tuned. We're gonna announce the giveaways both on the YouTube video and on the social media feeds, uh, Facebook and Instagram. And stay tuned to the end of this video because at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you more details on the specifics for the giveaways, how you can enter, and more information about that. But right now, let's just enjoy the ride. Let's enjoy the weekend. It's our last weekend here before winter, uh, winter comes and some of the trails in this area are closing. Rays is open all year long. They have 14 kilometers of technical type trail riding here. We'll be back in the winter to ride, but some of the local trails turn into sled trails and you can no longer go on them with wheeled machines come December 1st. So we're gonna hit Greens Mountain one more time before the season closes. Stay tuned guys, really hope you enjoy this video. If you're a long-term viewer, thanks for the support. If you're new to the channel, please stick around and subscribe. I think you'll really enjoy yourselves here. There's a good mix of guys here, good mix of machines and always a lot of fun and sends. So we're gonna get unloaded and we're gonna get the show on the road. Come on in. Pizza. Oh, the Godfather is here. <laughs> Tim, say hello to your fans and the ones that hate you and your throttle. Oh, I know. I actually went out today and 
The internet is a mean how to place. Drive properly, and I uh, brought the Civic. Nice, you brought the Civic. You read that, eh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. People are like, yeah, Tim needs to learn how to control the throttle, not just keep blipping it like he's backing up his Honda Civic. Although that was a really nice hit at the heart. Good. It was. The the you know the the throttle tap on the reverse. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good way of putting it. On reverse. You know how like people reverse their cars like bop, 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 oh. on the Civic? That's what they were laughing at you about? Oh, okay. I forgive you, you brought pizza. I know. Yeah. That's all that matters. At the end of the day, what matters is you spanking $50,000 side-by-sides. Every day, line them up. Yeah, yeah, line them up. You think Tim can't drive? Come meet us on the trail. Yeah. Put your money in your mouth. Come on out. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Fresh meat. Where's your partner in crime? She's hiding. Mm. Godfathers. Dig mm. in. May I? Oh, absolutely. Dig in. Thank you, my friend. Obviously, you got your pizza. fresca. Mm. Leftover from last weekend. <laughs> Looks like some of the other guys are starting to arrive. We got Sean and Jason here and their X3s. Sean is an arborist and runs a tree removal business, so he's got a lot of trailers and ability to haul his toys around, so that makes life easy. He also brought his fifth wheel trailer because he wants to feel like a princess after the ride. Alrighty, so the guys are slowly getting here. Jason just pulled in with Sean uh, in the big fifth wheel, 43 footer. We're gonna go see them quickly before we hit the trail. We're gonna get a bit of a ride in before it gets dark. We're gonna do a bit of a night ride today too when some of the other guys get here. So it should be a good time. We're just, main entrance of Ray's place is right there. And we got the office right here. And uh, you've probably seen bits and pieces of the campground from previous videos, but maybe later on we'll do a quick drive through and show you what it's like. I guess there's a decent sized Jeep event going on tomorrow. So that should be fun. This place was known in the Jeep community a long time before it was known in the ATV side-by-side -side community. As side-by-sides have evolved, um, so has the kind of business that's come to Ray's place. It's not so much just Jeeps now, you get a huge amount of side-by-sides coming out here now. Since essentially, I mean, side-by-sides these days are similar to Jeep size in a lot of ways. I mean, a lot of us are running bigger tires than, than the stockish Jeep guys. We're all decked out in our fin trail. Yep. It's all about getting geared up. I mean, you stay dry, you stay warm, you stay happy on the trail. And um, yeah, so I know I'm always pumping out fin trail, fin trail this, trail. fin trail that. I'm your fan. Yeah, she's a fan. It's just, it's honestly guys, it's excellent gear, excellent gear. That's all I have to say about it. They make a really high quality product uh, that looks really good and it's really comfortable and it's it lasts it's very durable i mean uh, the product sells itself you've probably been seeing a lot more of it all over the place because it works it's busy all of a sudden around yeah. here like, scott man what's going on you're you on doing? camera again don't I, be shy uh, I'm, i am not great on camera but that's okay doing? that's okay <laughs> scott owner of ray's place uh you guys have seen him in previous videos so thanks for having us again man we Anytime. love coming here. I like when you guys are here. I really do. What's going on? Hi, all back in town, ready to rip. Race place, here we are. Yeah. Oh, look at this roll bar. Oh boy, oh boy. We left Sean's place like a weekend or two ago and he said, he's like, I, I heard these roll bars are strong, so, so I'm going to test them. To mine. Oh my God. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Grab that bar and shake is it. This a, is this like a look? <laughs> it's broken off. Yeah. Oh, the mount snapped right off. Bazinga. Oh, the broke right you know, off. It's it's really to the Are these made out of PVC? I don't know. <laughs> they they would have snapped. <laughs> you know, sometimes I met Tim, I knew he'd fit in. I met Jason, I knew he'd fit in. I met Sean, I thought he was going to change the level of the bar. <laughs> Because holy cow, this thing took a... But I mean, if you look at his back thing, at the back of his roof Yeah, there, nothing straight mine, it's very Makes sad. your machine look pristine. I know. Hey, it's Even cool. with them bald tires. Oh, new A-arms. Yeah, yeah, so like long story MVP. short, Sean took this machine off the jump at his house, landed on his nose, broke both his A-arms off, flipped it, on landed roof? on the roof, bounced off the roof, yeah. landed on the tires. No, I, I and, uh, it. And like, it's still oh, together. Just, it's got like, some, it's got some damage, ride. but and I she's all right. 
I, well, we, I mean, are you silly? We're still gonna send it. You know, he's still gonna send it twice as hard just because it's like this. Yeah, it's already broken. What's the worst that could happen, right? Look at this is painted from the factory, but look at the overspray. Yeah, eh? Weird, yeah. eh? They just wanted to make sure they covered up the cracks underneath that. Mm. I'm not saying that about Can Am. No, no. <laughs> yeah, Can Am fanboy. We got a nice setup here. 43 foot. Ooh, the slide outs. Ray's place at the final. We should just change the name to Ritz. Yeah. The Ritz place? The Ritz Hotel. Look at this thing, that's sweet. When you guys go away for the weekends on a ride, do you usually bring a fifth wheel like this, camp in a tent, rent a cottage, uh, have a different trailer? Uh, how do you like to set up shop? Are you fancy or are you just kind of bare bones basic? She's out! Okay. I don't know, what do you think this is worth? What's this worth, Sean? 115, I think it was. 115,000. Wow, that's like the cost of a nice house in West Virginia. That's both our side by sides in the trailer. Mm -hmm. You can bring buy trailers, you land it, leave it here. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we usually go to Florida for three months. Daddy, can I so, help with the places? <laughs> All right, so we're going to go for a little cruise on the race, trace, uh, race place trails, try out these new tires. 9 PSI rear, 7 PSI front. 32 by 10 by 15 Tusk Megabytes. Let's see how they work. Uh, let's see if the air pressures are good. No front sway bar, no rear sway bar. So she's gonna flex out nice. Let's see what it's like. And uh, we're gonna do a bit of a night ride later with uh, the guys when they all get here. Nothing crazy, but just some fun before we hit the trails tomorrow. Here we are hitting the trails finally. It's just me and Tim out for a little cruise now. Uh, Jason and, and, and the guys there are getting settled, uh, still waiting on the others to show up. So to kill some time, we're just going out to explore the trails, see what the conditions are like. These, tire, these tires feel like they're actually gripping quite nicely on the rock here. Um, obviously just been out for a couple minutes now, but so far, I think they're gonna work well. And I mean, a new tire always grips so well with all those nice straight edges on it until you hit the road and round them all off. I mean, even a new big horn grips well before you round off all those edges. The ride comfort is so awesome with the front and rear sway bar disconnected. The machine's so soft and it's like a slinky. I love it. Night riding when there's snow is just so much fun, um, especially when you have some high powered lighting because the white snow just reflects everything and things light up. It's, it's really cool, it's a different world um, and it's so much fun. Uh, the trails really evolve and change and, and it looks beautiful out. The options for aftermarket lighting these days are wicked. 
from mild budget setups to the higher end setups like I have here from Baja Designs offer so much light output that some days it almost seems brighter at night than during the day. The budget lighting versus high end lighting is a touchy debate. There's a lot of people say that you get what you pay for and, and, and in theory you do, but you can also get a lot of bang for buck with some of the cheaper lighting products that still provide a ton of light output on a more attainable budget. gonna get the same light quality output longevity and reliability out of a $100 light bar in comparison to something closer to the $1,000 range maybe not but if you get a season out of a $100 light bar and it triples your light output in theory I mean that's a win as I've mentioned in regards to other products you've got to make realistic comparisons apples to apples I'm running eight C2 rock lights from Mike Tuning here and some Adrenaline Off-Road Outfitters LED whips. Having fun? Yeah. It's cool with the snow at night, eh? It is. It's so different too. Yeah. That I play. That's better with the light. The razor looks good lit up. Got those Baja Designs light bars and headlight conversion. It's so bright. Oh, there's Tim. Say hi, Tim. So yeah, I, I, I know the video is not too intense at night. More or less, this is a good test of the GoPro 10 at night. I'll tell you right now, it's not very cold out. It's like just on the freezing point and the camera is not liking it. Neither are the LED lights. Um, they're not too happy. Um, so I've got to keep the camera on standby or it doesn't want to stay on. It's getting cold. This is always difficult in the winter time. And I mean, when it gets colder and colder, it gets harder and harder. Uh, it's just what you got to deal with when you're trying to film in these conditions. I find some of the newer, higher tech cameras don't like the cold more than the older ones. The GoPro 5 and 6 didn't like the cold, but they did better in the cold than this one. So far these tires are hooking up good. We just crawled up that one little steep section. I wasn't sure if we were gonna make it at that speed and they grip good. So, uh, so far pretty good. Uh, they're riding good. Um, we'll see how they do tomorrow. So let's go catch up with Tim. I'm sure he's getting bored. So like I was saying, uh, these Megabytes, initial impressions are, they've got a lot of grip. So I'm happy with them so far. If they were terrible, I'd know. So uh, they're not terrible by any means. I knew they'd work well. And they're brand new, like I said, so they got all those nice sharp edges on them still. This ride's a little too intense for me. Can you kind of tone it down? Like, you know, you're getting reckless. Yeah. No, man, I'm serious. Hilarious, bud. Chill out. I can't keep up with the wild kitty. No, I was just doing camera stuff. Yeah. I know it's kind of, I mean, you're probably bored. I'm just dicking around here. Yeah, scenic cruise, right? Uh, should we slowly creep back to camp, see what's up, and then head out for a better night ride? Cool, man. So yeah, we're just going out for a little scenic cruise till everyone else gets settled in camp. And uh, like Tim just said, I mean, hey, scenic cruise should be sitting on back at camp or being at home. Any day on the trail is a good day. What was that? Speak up so the camera can hear you. I just agreed. You gotta talk louder. I can't. Why? my Just yell through it. Bella Clava. We were laughing on the way here and last trip. We had this idea because so obviously Ksenia's first language isn't English. Um, 
so we were having this, we were joking around about like ESL, so English as a second language, ESL girlfriend problems. There's all these words she always like chops up and, and says really funny or she doesn't always get certain like slang sayings. So we always find ourselves laughing about it. So she's like, we should include all the silly ESL moments in the videos. So we might have to do that. Yet earlier, so like the mask she's wearing, that full face, that's called a balaclava, right? She called it baklava. Ksenia here, Aka camera, camera girl. I'm like, AKA. Yeah. I mean, for her sake, English is not always an easy second language to learn. <laughs> Things don't well, always try, make sense. Try to learn Ukrainian or Russian, okay? Well, I could probably have an easier time learning Ukrainian or Russian because I speak Polish. Yeah. So it might help me a little bit. If you didn't know, yeah, I'm, I'm bilingual too. I speak Polish. My parents are immigrants. And uh, Ksenia is also an immigrant to Canada. She's been here for like seven years now. Nine. Nine? Yeah. Oh, that's what I meant. Nine years, yeah. Part two of the night ride. The women stayed back at camp and it's a boys only ride now. Everyone's here and we decided to go out for a cruise alone, unsupervised. You know that never ends well. <laughs> After initially doing the rough cut of this video, I was left with about four and a half hours of usable content. So I decided to make a two part video. The first part will be an eventful night ride, the intro, what you're seeing here, and part two will be the main ride on Saturday. So stay tuned, because we're gonna have a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah, that was all tires. I can't believe you made it. I know, right? He flipped. On this 
this episode of How <laughs> Up is <laughs> up. How <laughs> up. On this week's episode is How <laughs> Right this day, eh? Yeah, we're just gonna take it easy, eh? I'm having another drink. That's what I thought. You're taking it easy. Once fine. again, we're gonna rig rig up the tree again. Oh, guess who it is? Look what happened, oh, Jason. Raise place. Guess I don't what? Know what to tell you know you. what? I just turned my camera on the dash. I think I might have got that. <laughs> yeah. Don't come down this way. No, this is what. Look at the drop right there. I know. Why would you do that? It's I, Jason, I man. Which, where, which way did you come? I you came down here. here. You come down there. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do which way are you planning plan on going? He's like, I'm taking the easy way, so he flips it. I'm out of my sight. Where are you going? This way or that way? He came this way. Yeah, but no, I'm just trying to get the trust of what he's thinking. So we're going this way. That's the way he should have gone. This is the actual trail that I'm on. I'm gonna have to let it sit for a good 10 minutes after we're done here. You got no excuse. This is a two beer break. Okay. Well, I only Maybe to that tree there. How much you gonna lose? Okay, let's get it over. Maybe this tree right there. Uh, uh, we're even that one, dude. If you wanna pull, you can go to that one. And pull this bottom yeah, wheel over. Let's hook up to the bottom of the roll bar. Yeah. Do, you uh, do you need it? Do we need another? Once again, I'm looking at my uh, skip plate. We can get her dragged up, then we can push it over, right? New rule, Jason's never allowed to be the leader. Hey man, I was having fun. You give a f***ing can am There's only two can ams here. <laughs> like, you gotta represent, man. One's down! <laughs> How do you want to do this, Julian? You when we walked up to these machines, I said, well, hey, look at those can ams Why are they on the tires? Why sleep? <laughs> sleeping. Why sleeping. He did say that. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Ours is used to yeah, pick up all those spare can and parts. You'll need them tomorrow. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. I'm going home. <laughs> this happens every time. I'm taking my fall and I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, I'm doing. Okay. Bring us in. Take it off again. Right <laughs> wait, wait. What's with this trail? We can't seem to make it down with a can MX3 anymore. I don't know what I think. I think it's like that's a good place to go, man. You didn't see that. No, I didn't see the big drop. We were hungry. Yeah, good. I'm glad I'm wearing waders. I'm still trying to figure out what the <laughs> I just came down the hill. Why did you like, why did you watch yourself? Watch yourself. Why, why okay. did you turn there, dude? Yeah, get out of there. Fix that. Yeah, don't stand there. Hold on, hold on. Get out of there. In case that whole thing rolls. Yeah, get out of the way. You're not gonna help it. Everybody watch your spaces. Wait, that's that's not no, that's not what we want. We gotta pull it from this side. From the front. From the back. I hear money. <laughs> this is pinned good. It is. It's Should really we pull good. you backwards with mine? Yeah, I mean, we can pull it backwards. It's just gonna be yeah. carnage. Maybe we need to get yeah, a high line. Get a higher. Yeah, we need a high you line. You know what I mean? Yeah. Want me to put this block? Give me a little bit of slack back. We'll try to put this up a few feet. Oh, that's where you got the block? Yeah, if we go higher, it might lift. Yeah, instead of dragging. Yeah. Do you need a hand with that? Here. Oh, I got it. That's a nice shackle. Nice shackle. Is that Trees, your tree man. gear? I got all the fancy. Yeah. What the f is this is about race place? I was throwing my here. Well, I don't know if it's so much race place or. I think it's oh, what's in your hand. Go. You got some shit on I the dump. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You might want to grab that before you get to that guy there. Dra check over there. There's a slider in a slide. That's my slime. Can we get out of here? I can grab that. Yeah, you want to grab we'll it before it gets crushed? There's stuff here. Is that your ownership? That's his ownership. That's my own ownership. Oh, he's got the ownership. That's all, that's all I care about. Oh, it's on your hook. Yeah. Yeah. Salvage. Yeah. <laughs> you guys saw I bought it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this has got some pretty bad luck, too. Let's throw it up in the air. Watch out. It's rolling over. We got to pull it from behind now. Yeah. We gotta drag it backwards. Walk it one at a time. Should we pull it from behind? I think if you hook onto that back bar, get it back three, four feet, then we can tip it over. Yeah. I'll Push pull it forward.
It's always something. So much for her night ride. As usual, the camera's having a hard time doing this situation justice. Um, this is a really tough situation. We are really pinned in here. The majority of the weight of the vehicle is on the rear driver's side portion. It's dug in, into the mud, against that broken tree, pinned against the tree on the other side. There's no real good angle to get a pull on it. This is the wrong angle. Yes. It should be there. Yeah. It should be over. Uh, there's a lot of level changes here. Uh, this took a while and we tried pulling it from each and every angle. These are the situations where it's awesome to have a bunch of guys out. You can hit it like a team. Everyone's got an idea on what to do and eventually you always get your way out. Sometimes it goes quick, sometimes it takes a while like here. Hold on.
in there. Hey, you, gotta go what? Over you might tree. end up having a bad Why don't we go off another tree? You can, if you want. Because I that's f***ing deep. Just gotta go over this way. 100%. I can't back in there. The no. The Where? The the that's like there. four feet deep. Yo, this trail's yeah. close. Just yeah. leave it. Let's okay. go home. Yeah, yeah I just leave it here. Give me that. What's, what's gonna happen tomorrow? Do we have enough guys here to actually physically just? Not in the position it's in. Yeah. Here, let's try. It's one jammed more. in there. What do you want to try, Sean? We're gonna move this stacks block over there. We're gonna try to. We need that lower bar down here. I know. I don't care if it hits the tree. I know. I don't either. You know what? Undo my hook. Let me see if I can dig a little doggy hole to get this. <laughs> 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 Me. I'm gonna see if I can dig a little hole there to get this under that. Make Jason dig. Yeah. Hey, yeah you guys want to experience that race place? Here it is. Jason yeah, style. Go. Yeah. yeah. You still want to ride with us, Internet? Yeah. You still want to ride with this guy here? We're gonna send it. Yeah, I don't care if it hits the tree, it's just black. Hey man, get, I don't get, get, you're getting a new one anyways. <laughs> I'm getting a new one anyways. I just want it on the wheels, man, so I can ride tomorrow. How do you know how that happens? All right, let's, let's, let's put our heads together and let's get her done. Pull it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull it that way. Yeah, they'll be here in like four hours. Yeah. <laughs> okay, get out of there, Jay. Hey, now, that. hopefully that winch pulls that up. This is a Can-Am daily nap. Every <laughs> time we come to, every time we come to Ray's place, there's all these Can-Ams flopping around. Oh, I know. Bit. Unbelievable. Well, which I've missed the last few Can-Am rides. No, I mean this summarizes which the last year? few rides. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Cordy, what'd you do? Yeah, come a bit. We're almost at the point of just like everybody tie onto it. Yeah, keep coming, <laughs> keep going. This is no. Hold on, get out of the way. Hold on, get out of the way. Do you have a if I do you have a pulley? Do you have a, a, a block or anything? I don't have. I might have a snatch block actually. Do you? I might. If we, if we can go around that, I think we, we need can one. Pop them all over. We need one more block. I think I do. Uh, let me go check what, my back. Go over that way. I, well, instead of his line pulling that way, I'm gonna get him to pull from the face. Well, this is becoming a regular thing in the Can Am world here at Ray's. Can't ams play dead whenever they come here. Dig in here, see if I got a extra smash blow.
be a 55 liter cooler slash storage box. For me, it's more of a storage box than a cooler. This thing's awesome. It's insulated, so it keeps things cool or warm. Yeah, I got a snatch block. Hey, thanks. What? Oh, you do. You do have them. We just have to find oh, a way no, to. We got that yellow cable. Over. Hold on, I got another uh, toe strap we can use. Holy fuck. Well, this was unexpected. Well, kind of. That's a lie. Jason's driving. Sean, we almost need another. Well, if I unhook there and attach over here, I might be able to You get it? it. I got it. Hey, Come on. I always make it exciting, don't I? You yeah, never, ever, ever let us down, my friend. You're not when we to send, send it, it, we send the hardcore button. Yeah, man. I can't wait to email this to your mom. <laughs> oh, you better not do that, guy. <laughs> Where's your phone? Right here. Okay, good. <laughs> no fing your free mail like that. <laughs> hey, boys, I got a totally different idea. Listen to this. Listen. I got the matches right here. Light her up. Hey, listen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll pull them back to camp. Hey man, I got nothing to lose. We gotta just rethink this. I, I, this is in no. such a weird spot. It is. There's, There's no corner pinned in like. We need to pull this while that's pulling so it doesn't roll. Well, we have so I just need to get something yeah, around here. Yeah. You're on that? Uh, I'm not against the train idea, just to be honest with you. But we're gonna just destroy it. Yeah, yeah I know. And there's not much. There's not gonna be many options. There's not here. much fluids left in it. <laughs> Julian, we don't need your. <laughs> talk, Sorry. Oh man, can I have my snatch block and toast? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's this? I, I, I think I left the oven on. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> on today's episode of How Fucked Up is Fucked Up. This is pretty fucked up. This is real fucked up, boys. This is real fucked up. That's too long. Can we make that shorter? Yes, we can. If I just go like this, and you put yeah, the hooks just, through, well, that's right. like this. Party cat's still fine. Woo! Jason, move over! Jason, move over! Jason, get hey, away Julian, from the cr like you're gonna get squished there. Hey, hey, hey. Let's have stop, stop, everybody stop. Okay. You're right, yeah, let's push. Look at that radius. Yeah, there we go. Good job, good job. Good job. Good job. Wow, I'm impressed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, here we go. Here we go. Wow, that nice. only really took an hour. Nice. So we need somebody on the front end on the right hand. Uh, on the right hand. Right hand. Nice. 
Watch out, Jason. Two-wheel drive in reverse. Yeah? It'll spin back. Maybe. Or he'll step. No, he's gonna no, 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 no. Stop, no. stop. We need to get one more line from this to the bottom of his wheel. And yeah, pull and this we'll wheel. Pull him forward, yeah, we'll pull him forward, yeah. Yeah, pulls and he drives hey, ahead. Exactly. Yeah. Tim, you still hooked up? Yeah, you're uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're still yeah. smashed. Yeah. 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 yeah, on this wheel. No, 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 it's gone. Around, right. around the cage, around the cage. Yeah. Oh, I gotta jump down there. That's alright. Give me uh, a little bit of man. Watch yeah, out, guys. Tim, but... watch out for that line, man. Yeah, step I'm gonna put it in a four wheel. I'm gonna try to come up there. Okay. Hold on, hold on. You got her, you got her. You, yeah, you got her. Don't Turn your wheel. Turn your wheel. Turn whoa, 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 whoa. Right. Turn whoa, your whoa, wheel. Whoa. Hold on. Turn your wheel. Let, me give me a little Let him out a bit. Hold on. Hold don't move. Don't move. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I don't think he can flip anyways. I'm holding him up. Okay. Go, take that sh off. I'll get out of here. Go take forward that, a just bit. Just go up a bit more. A bit more. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take there that we go. Off. Winning. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he wins. Boy. Woo, yeah. You know what, guys? Should we just guys, keep this on? <laughs> yeah. I need to get up here for it. Hold on. Right. Don't move. One guy by winch in. Yes, sir. Anything for the the guy that always saves the day in his Kawasaki. <laughs> Kawasaki over here. Hey, yeah, buddy! Woo! You won't catch Cordy like this. Now your head's right, guys. <laughs> so you think you'll roll it before we get back? I don't know, but don't turn around. Let's we'll keep going. We're ready when you are. So much better than synthetic rope, eh? Oh yeah, I don't have to worry about cutting my hands. Synthetic yeah. Rope? Killer. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. I mean, the life cycle. Do you have it on little... yours? What? Do you have it on yours? Yeah, I can't stand metal wire. Yeah. That, that's where I get all my rigging. in the top bar in there. Oh yeah, there is. That's where I get all the rigging gear. Everywhere. One foot. Bit more. Whoop! That's perfect. Thank you. Well done. Yeah. Hey man, nice fin trail. Thanks, buddy. Look. Look at Courtney's rock of the team fin trail. Finally. Hook me up, bro. Woo! <laughs> hey, Julian. Thanks, my friend. Here's that's that. I think you got to get your boy back. He's freezing and his that. ball sack off. What's that? That was messed up. One. I mean, are you surprised? At this point, no. I think we know Jason well enough to expect this. But you know what? It was fun. It was memories. It was okay. No one got hurt. The machine's fine. I was actually impressed at how we. That, that was that pinned, off. man. That, that was, was quite the puzzle. That, that was quite a suck, yeah. I gotta say, like, it was pinned in there good. We're gonna continue on and we'll take them, we'll head back as Jason. Well, that was interesting, guys. <laughs> I wonder how well you'll be able to see. We'll see how this GoPro 10 does at night shooting here. So that'll be cool to see. Jason's okay, the machine's okay. Um, so that's the most important part. We're gonna head back to camp before there's more carnage and save it all for tomorrow. So thanks for uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. So yeah, let's head back to camp. He is everyone's okay. What's going on, guys? Say hey. hello, everybody. Morning. 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 Day two. We are just getting some breakfast, waiting for Tim to come with some Tim Hortons. Well, we are starting to get all ready here. Happy hippie just got right. here. It wasn't me. You okay? Oh yeah. Is that a four-wheel drive commander? <laughs> it's, it's possibly a four-wheel drive commander. With like What's going on? Hey, how you doing? I knew you'd be back for more. Oh, I'm loving it. I can't yeah. wait. 
Hi, brother. How hey, are you? Hey, man. Good. Hey, Say folks. Hi, Internet. Hi, Internet. How you doing? <laughs> Peace, love, and happiness. It was so much fun. You came last weekend. You came back? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh, we had a great time last uh -huh. week. This is how we do it. This is the old man's way of doing it. <laughs> that is so cool. How you doing? Good. This thing, is this your new machine? Yeah. These are fun. Yeah. Up, buddy. Ready to rock? Oh, Hi. Yeah. Hi. You ready? This is gonna be like <laughs> we got the we got quite a mix here. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah. Yeah, but I want the next yeah. All right, guys. So we're all loaded up. We got all the machines pretty much lined up here. And uh, you'll see a better look of them on the trail, but we're gonna hit the trail now. Okay guys, so that finishes up this video. I know it was a little different than what we're used to with all the carnage going on at night and that kind of more difficult extraction that we had to deal with um, regarding Jason's machine and it being pinned in there and it took us quite a while to get that all straightened out and that kind of cut into our night ride. But we're all here, everyone's arrived, we're gonna hit the trails. Part two is gonna be action packed. If you're here to hear about the giveaway, the next video, we've got a wicked giveaway scheduled for you guys. Next video, part two of the ride, we're gonna be giving away a full set of fin trail gear. That includes boots, waders, and jacket, a full setup in any size you need, and that will be provided by our channel supporters, fin trail. Fin trail makes the best waiting gear on the market. You guys are gonna see a lot of it in the next video and I'm sure you've seen a lot of it in previous ones as well. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a really wicked giveaway and there's a lot more awesome giveaways coming your way from all of our awesome channel supporters. So big shout out to them and big shout out to you guys, the viewers. None of this would be possible without you. As always, I appreciate the support. Stay tuned to the next video. Follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Share the videos with your friends. And most importantly, ride safe out there.